everybody. Welcome to the Atheist Experience. It's Sunday, March 14th, 2021. I'm your host, Jim Burrows. Joining me this week is Dave Warnock. How you doing, Dave? Hey, Jim. I'm good. Good to see you, man. Yeah. So what's new with you these days? Uh, I got my vaccine. Yay. So awesome. I'm ready to get out and about. Uh, that doesn't mean I'm going to go crazy. Still, we, we still wear masks and stuff, but we're open to traveling a little bit actually going to take a vacation to costa rica next week so excited oh, to get nice. out and do some things since the world stopped about a year ago this week it seems yeah it does seem to be almost a year ago uh pi day um yeah so uh for those who don't know who you are why don't you introduce yourself to everyone yeah um i've done the show a few times so most people will probably know who i am but there's some new ones that may not Dave Warnock, Dying Out Loud is the organization that uh, we actually started about two two years ago. I got diagnosed with ALS a little more than two years ago. We had an actual fuck ALS two-year anniversary party um, on the anniversary date, the 26th of February. Matt was actually able to drop in. He did a little magic for us. It was a nice night. But um, shortly after that, I started doing the Dying Out Loud thing I've been doing for a couple of years. It's funny, someone on a recent show, I think it was Talk Heathen, and the comment said, yeah, hasn't Dave been dying out loud for like 10 years now? You know, is he, why is he still alive? Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I'm still alive and, and doing better than I thought I would when I got diagnosed. I thought I may only have a couple of years to live. But anyway, the dying out loud thing became a thing that took off. And we began to travel around the country and do shows like this and speak at secular events. And all of that got stopped with COVID a, a year ago. So we were, we were actually planning to be uh, in a lot of places speaking and even in Europe. So um, it's been a it's been a neat uh, twist to the cards I was dealt to be able to connect with so many people all over the world and talk about things that matter to me like life and death and what happens after death nothing um, and things of that nature because I used to be an uh, evangelical Christian for 37 years and then I've been an atheist for about 10 years so there's a big change there and you look at things differently when you, a terminal illness, for instance, you look at that differently as an atheist than you would as a Christian. So um, that's a lot of what I talk about in the Dying Out Loud thing. Okay. And you've got some some merchandise to include some interesting pieces of merchandise. Yeah, you know, when you think of merch, uh, you think of t-shirts and coffee mugs and things, but this this website that, that operates it for us, Threadless, they have everything. And so we've been talking about, you know, you can get a, you, there it is, the links to all my stuff. Um, you can get a, um, I think the link we haven't added there is TikTok. I've been TikToking lately. That's kind of crazy. But um, you can get a shower curtain with this exact image on it. And someone actually bought one of those recently. <laughs> I just got a picture today of this this new file. Yeah, there we go. I, so for a minimum fee, you can shower with Dave every day. Who wouldn't want to do that, right? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. God. That's way bigger. That's that's just too much of me. I'll just tell you. <laughs> yeah, it seems like it. Um, but well, that's good. So uh, any anything coming up soon? Uh, you know what? There's no meetings happening. And, and I'm just I'm happy to do shows like this. I, I'm working really hard on my book. I'm writing a memoir of my mm -hmm. life story. And it's it's creative nonfiction, essentially, because I'm taking a lot of license with it. So I am really working hard at that. I've been writing every day now for months, and I hope to have that out. I should be finished with the original draft of it probably by the end of May, 1st of June. And then after editing and all that, it'll be it'll be out and ready for consumption later this year. So everybody get you one of those because you're going to you're going to I think it's I think it's it's coming along really well. I'm happy with with how it's coming out. Awesome. Good stuff. All right. Well, we are the Atheist Community of Austin. It's a 501c3 nonprofit organization dedicated to promoting the separation of religion and government and positive atheist culture. We have merch, too. You can go to uh, bit.ly slash AEN merch and get T-shirts, hoodies, and other cool stuff. I don't know if we have shower curtains or not. Uh, you can become a <laughs> member for this channel for as little as a dollar a month, which will give you access to icons and other cool stuff. If you're watching us live, you can donate below the chat. Google and YouTube no longer take a cut from that since we are a nonprofit organization. And every dollar you donate helps put the atheist experience as well as talk heathen, the nonprofit's truth bonded and secular sexuality. Uh, you can become a member at patreon.com slash the atheist experience or get the link in the chat. 
There's also two Facebook groups that we've been promoting, which are the Atheist Experience Fan Group, as well as the Atheist Experience Private Fan Group, which you can find the links for in the chat as well. The show is only possible with the work of the people behind the scenes. Let's take a look at the crew. Where is that Motley crew? There they are. Hey, crew. I think we're missing a cat, aren't we? Or did he run away? <laughs> All right. Um, they're screening your calls, working on audio, we're working on video, writing the show notes, and moderating all of our chats. Uh, we are a live call-in show, and we give priority to Theus. We've got some open lines. Give us a call at 1-512-999-1-9242, or from your computer at tiny.cc slash callaxp. You ready to take some calls, Steph? Let's do it. 